room of prisms. A prism is a particular type of shape that has identical ends. So it's a 3D shape with identical end faces. And we say it's got the same cross section throughout. So I'll draw a triangular prism here. A triangular prism would be like a Toblerone box. There's an identical triangle at either end. And if you cut along there anywhere, you'd get a triangle. So that's called the cross section. That's the end. So a 3D shape with identical ends. And to find the volume of a prism, it's the area of the end, which we'd call the base. And if we stood that on its base, then the height would be that distance there. And we multiply the area of the base by the height of the prism. And so that's V equals A times H. So in a lot of your questions, they'll give you the area of the base and the height of the prism, and you'll just have to use that formula. So this is a wobbly shaped um, swimming pool. And they've given you the area of the base, it's 23 meters squared, and the height of the swimming pool is 1.8 meters and we can find the volume. We write the formula V equals A times H. We put our equal sign underneath. The area of the base was 23 meters squared times 1.8 is the height and we use our calculator 23 times 1.8 41.4 and because we were measuring in meters, that's in meters cubed, because in volume, we're counting how many cubes fit into a thing. So that's the volume of prisms. And our steps there are write the formula, substitute the values of the area and the height, and get the answer with units and the units will be cubed.